I don't know about you, but if I could and I didn't affect anything, I would absolutely time travel. Unfortunately, we can't do that. But there was an experiment done which may show that you can reduce the effects of aging. And also, I think this study kind of shows, this experiment shows how important our beliefs and ideas are in shaping the world and actually ourselves. So Ellen Langer conducted this experiment, and this experiment was meant to obviously see the mental changes as well as the physical changes to the people's bodies. Now this experiment was the 1979 counterclockwise experiment. So this experiment took eight older men and brought them to a place for five days where they were supposed to live like it was 1959. So they were about let's say 70, 80 years old. So they're supposed to live 20 years beforehand. Now when they were here, they weren't supposed to just pretend like it was 1959. They were supposed to live as if it was 1959. On the TVs, there were television programs from 1959. The newspapers were from 1959. Everything around them was from 1959. The radio played Perry Como and Jack Benny, who were very popular at the time. And twice a day during these five days, the researchers would bring everyone together to talk about current events of the time, like how we needed to build bomb shelters across the country because of the Soviets, as well as Castro's advance into Havana. When they would talk about these things, they weren't supposed to refer to it as it was in the past. It was present tense talk the entire time. Now they had another group which was brought to the same place, but they weren't, they weren't actually living as if it was 1959. They were reminiscing the entire time, thinking, oh, remember when this happened? And we thought the whole country was going to get nuked, so we wanted to build uh, bomb shelters all across the country. And then, oh yeah, Castro into Havana. They would just reminisce. Now this part is interesting. For both groups, hearing memory, and grip strength improved. Photos of the participants were rated as appearing significantly younger after their treat than before. In addition to these, there were further improvements for the experimental group on measures of vision, joint flexibility, manual dexterity, IQ, gait, posture, and decreased symptoms of arthritis. There were improvements in both groups, but the group that was living as if it was 1959 experienced much greater benefits in all these areas. Now, why am I making a video about this? Why is this on the Great Man Podcast? That's a good question. You see, I think that the mind, the way we think, the ideas we have, the way we view the world, the way we view ourselves matters very, very much. And the book that actually reminds me of this is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, where he's just saying, you think it and then you act upon it and things change. So that's, but that's all part of your mind. Maybe we really can reduce aging, at least to some extent, but to me, that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is seeing this and going, well, how can I use the, like, think and grow rich in this experiment to my benefit? Well, I think you have to think about what you actually want in life, the person you want to become. For me, you have to have your round table of your favorite historical figures, movie characters, even, in your mind. And you have to pick a few out and go, these are the people I want to be. And this is what I would have to do to become that thing. Be, do, have. You have to become, then you have to do the things that the person you are trying to become would do, and then you have whatever it is you're trying to get. But it's simply just using your mind to think a little more. And that's why Think and Grow Rich is such a great book because that's how it works. Financially successful people all realize that this is how it works. And then for great men, there's a number of things they could be, but they reduced it down to a specific aim, a specific goal, and they had it in their mind. I want to do this. I want to be this. And I want to have this. How do I do that? They figured it out and they thought about it. And suddenly the world changes around them and they change as well. So I thought this was so interesting that they had this experiment. How I found out about this was just seeing like a 
20 or 30 second clip about this. But I thought this was very interesting, even though it was such a small sample size of 16 people, it's still interesting. And I still think that your mind clearly has a major effect, not on you psychologically, obviously, but on your body as well. And trying to figure out how to use that to your advantage is absolutely key to becoming a great man. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys have a great day. This was a short video, but I thought this was interesting. So if you guys want to check this experiment out, I'll put it in the description. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time.